let's queer up health. Missouri governor signs ban for trans health care for minors and some adults. Transgender minors and some adults in Missouri will soon be banned from accessing puberty blockers, hormones, and gender-affirming surgeries under a bill signed Wednesday by the state's Republican governor, Mike Parson. Beginning August 28th, Missouri health care providers won't be able to pre prescribe those gender-affirming treatments for teens and children. Most adults will still have access to transgender health care under the law, but Medicaid won't cover it. Gender-affirming surgeries for inmates and prisoners will be outlawed. The law is set to expire in 2027 as part of a Republican compromise with Senate Democrats. Republican leaders of the House and Senate pledged months ago to pass bills, but the chambers disagreed on how restrictive the ban should be. The House ultimately took up the Senate's toned-down version of the health care bill, which includes an exception that allows transgendered minors to continue receiving gender-affirming health care if they have already started their treatments. The state's Planned Parenthood clinics have been ramping up available appointments and holding pop-up clinics to start patients on treatments ahead of the law taking effect. Yamel Z. Rodriguez, President and CEO of Planned Parenthood of St. Louis Region, said, we will continue to do everything in our power to ensure all patients are supported, seen, and cared for. Any patient wanting to continue their gender-affirming care in a state that welcomes people of all identities. Our Fairview Heights, Illinois Healthcare System, Healthcare Center is open to you and we are here to help you make plans to get care. <laughs> now I'm from Missouri. I grew up in Missouri and I have family in Missouri and it, it, it just it it just shocks me that we're going through this because it's Kansas City and St. Louis are the largest cities, and they're both Democratic, and the rest of the state is as red as a Republican can possibly get. But I think it's, I think it's amazing that the health care, uh, Ms. Rodriguez's health care uh, Planned Parenthood of St. Louis has made arrangements with the Illinois side because those are two different states, even though they're, you know, they're separated by the Mississippi. I think it's smart for them to do so, but I think it, what's odd about this whole situation is that it's only for three years, 2027, four years. Mm -hmm. Well, they're hoping for a different political climate in I understand, years, and that's how they work. And I understand that, but I mean, by that, I would hope that they bring up a lawsuit saying, so for four years we play by these rules and we don't know what's going to happen after that. I, I, in some circles that I travel in, three or four years is called a trial period. Mm -hmm. This is where they figure out what's going to work, what's not going to work, and they're going to find all their holes and they're going to fill the holes. And that's very smart. So we, we, need, to, we need to use that same trial period to, to black find as the many holes, holes, bingo, and to, build those to not only find the holes, them. but make them even bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I think... <laughs> Were you trying to blast you? I was trying I was to blast you. It was like, such a serious moment. <laughs> you know, a few weeks ago, we, we um, talked about how... Um, the attorney general tried to just implement essentially this law without a vote. He um, put it uh, uh, an emer he declared a state of, of health emergency. Mm -hmm. He put um, he put up a, a basically tattle on your parent on your neighbors right. uh, on your uh, for your website, and a judge struck it down. A judge right. said this is vague. This is essentially unconstitutional. So hopefully. A judge will look at this at this law and go no no maybe this part no to this part so i, I think that it's going to undergo a very um uh tough judicial review and it's uh, still it's very, very vague i mean the, the language as as has been reported is very loose very fluid because they were trying not to make it too specific because right. you do have other you know adults still getting their treatment mm -hmm. not not prisoners but adults and only those not not prisoners and not anybody on Medicaid. Right. right. And but you do have, you know, people that are currently on treatment, which is why they're trying to get as many people in. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community. With more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.